Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, a couple things have happened between the last episode and this one. The first thing is, I've discovered in the actual difficulty settings, I've got a difficulty here, there's no longer a slider for, that I can see anywhere, for contract difficulty. So, unless I'm missing it here somewhere, it looks like, um... The difficulty is what it is so hopefully it ratchets itself up um, but we'll see how it goes uh, so that's one thing the second thing is uh, if we go to the mech bays I made a few changes to the mechs you notice we got some underweight mechs here so we put basic sensors and stuff in a lot of our mechs um, the archer we gained a ton when we put the basic sensors or the basic cockpit in I think it was um, so I added an extra heat sink for that the uh, dervish gained a ton, but I didn't add anything extra to this. We just left it for now, so we're down a ton. Hopefully we can find some stuff for this guy to drop in. I want to upgrade one of the SRMs from, from the uh, the SRM2 to an SRM4 or something along that line. So we saved a ton there. Uh, the Gladiator uh, went to the major refit. I'll show you that in a second. The Fire Bee, I changed around. So um, we still have the bolt-on rockets. And then I took out the two LRM5s, put SRM2s in, maintained the, the Inferno ammo. We still have like 12 and a half turns of firing with the SRMs. Then I added a bunch of jump jets for mobility. So I'm hoping that helps out. Uh, the Fire Bee's not that bad, but the mix of long and short range uh, was causing to hit problems. But because this guy's going to be closing a lot, I figured we might as well throw it all with SRM2s, hopefully get in real close and uh, get better chances to hit. So that was the goal with this one. And like I said, now we've got a bunch of jump jets so we can maneuver around a little better. Heat sinking is still fantastic on that mech. Now the Gladiator changed a fair bit. We used to have a, a large laser and two medium lasers on this thing. Um, but now I've got two larges in the ER medium. So we've got some long range firepower. Uh, I added, was able, like I added the, the basic cockpit which saved us a, a ton. Um, and I think we had jump jets on here that I pulled off along with the two medium lasers. But anyway, we gained... Oh, I dropped the endosteel in too. That was what it was. So we gained a bunch of weight, which is why I added the extra... Like the, increased it to a large laser. Um, the heat sinking is not that bad. Uh, we're, we are on a cold planet, so it's not that bad. We can leave the ER medium off every once in a while too, but this will uh, give it a little bit better punch. Um, we've only got, like I said, we've only got three laser slots on this thing, so we can only do a so, so much, right? Um... So hopefully that works out. We'll see how that, that plays out today. So I've already chosen the mission. I'm going to go to the command center. We're looking at getting salvage. So we're going to do, um, where is it here? The escort mission for supply convoy. I know it's only a half skull, uh, but we're going to go ahead and do this one. I haven't really found anything in the one skull range that I want to do. Uh, cease and desist is for uh, is a destroy base mission for the uh, for, for Canopians, and we're going to want to do that. And then training day is taking one of our single mech pilots down. And we're still interested in getting um, experience for our current pilots. Uh, we may, depending on how it goes today, we, we may try um, one of these uh, um, one and a half skull. Well, maybe not this one, but we might try one of these two one and a half skulls next time. Maybe ambush convoy. I don't know. I just don't think we have the firepower to take on eight, eight units at once um, and be successful in an ambush convoy. So I don't know. But we'll do this escort here first. So let's try this. Going to go full salvage. We still need lots of gear. And we'll deploy and just get this done. All right, here we go. Now, do we have a another lance with us here? It's hard to tell there on the drop. Well, we do. Okay. All right, looks like we dropped close to our uh, our uh, capture zone here. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward. Looks like we don't have any defenders at all. Copy that. Now the fire bee, our jump, well, with six jump jets is kind of mediocre at best, but hopefully it'll give us enough maneuverability. All right, let's get these guys moving here. Okay. Now, I'm assuming we're going this way. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, yeah, I know with this mission. Okay. 
It's been a long time since we played this one. Wow. Can't get over how slow my guys are, too. <laughs> Moving at full speed. Okay. Uh, we need to keep you moving forward. Uh, you need to move forward. You need to move forward. And you can go ahead and activate the base. Yeah! Let's do this. Hopefully we don't have fast vehicles. Although I noticed they were waiting for us and actually came back to help us last time, so... Alright, here we go. Keep them alive. Well, that's how we do. Alright, we got enemy contact here. Urban mech. Cool. We got some urban mech parts again. Um, let's jump this. Get a bit more distance with the jump. And then we can brace. Get our stability back. Beautiful. Talk to me. You talk to me, buddy. Do you see anything out there? Are ya? You notice I switched his voice around? You got Raiju's voice in there. Ah, uh, we'll take those odds. Damn you for making me do this. He's the bitter old encrusted guy. Damn you, son. Damn you for making me do this. Full sprint. I'm probably gonna pull the jump jets off this guy too. Just do it for a bit more m mobility. Right now, we just don't have the weight. Like, we can pull them off, but then what do we put in there, right? Like I said, if we can get some bigger LRMs, or most likely SRMs, we'll do that. What else do we have up there? That's the urban mech. What's this guy? Find out in a second here. There might only be three. Pummel him! A Jenner, okay. I think we've got Jenner parts. I thought we got some from the first mission. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, see they're pushing it, nice. You know, that could be the, the thing too, is the, um, the difficulty setting uh, might not be there because the enemy's got full armor and everything now, so there might be only one difficulty. Nice to be if it, if it was adaptive, so the um, the tougher that we are, the tougher the enemy gets. But we'll find out soon enough. Ooh, good shooting, man. Giving him a bad day. A Valkyrie. A lot of nothing. So hope you guys are enjoying watching the series as much as I am playing it. It's, uh, I'm having fun so far. I know it's only the third episode, but... The, uh, the changes that have been made to the, uh, to Rogue Tech. I don't know whether they're intentional or not, or they just kind of, uh, have to be made this way. But it's just great. Uh, it's so much fun playing. comes the Jenner. All right. Hot shot. Uh, where are our vehicles? All four of them are right here, right? Okay, so let's... Let's not overextend. I know the uh, urban mech is still there. Let's get up into here. Copy that. Yeah, he's back there. I think we're okay where we are. Let's target this guy again. Got a bit of height advantage on him. See ya. One more for the kill board. Yeah, that gladiator is uh, working out well. Okay, let's get up here. Yeah, we can sprint a little farther than we can jump. On my way. Not Come much. On. Okay, target the Jenner. We're not going to target the Jenner because we can't see it, so we're good. <laughs> I just assumed we were going to be able to see it. Wow, they're moving pretty far ahead. Got to hurry and catch up to them. I've got your back. Jesus Christ. Sprinting. Let's see if we can keep them focused on us. Aye, aye. 
I remember the mission. We had a hero Irby on this mission once where uh, we got the our vehicles to here and then a um, when the reinforcements for them spawned, an urban, urban mech with a Rack 5 spawned, crested the hill and drew, destroyed one of my vehicles like instantaneously. Yeah, Hero Irby. Wow, these vehicles are fast. Okay, I think we definitely go up a we go up a difficulty for sure. We're gonna go up to like I think we could probably handle one and a half skulls. Although I don't know about an ambush convoy, I just don't think we got the firepower and the accuracy for that. Although I guess if we all targeted the convoy ve I, I mean I guess it would also depend on the map too. If we just targeted the convoy vehicles it might work, but let's get up here. Looks like the urban mech's trying to make a break for it. Not a good idea, buddy. Wow, they're fast, man. They are, the vehicles are really fast. These are still, oh, he's not running. It's the PPC version, though. Well, hopefully after this mission, we get to put together uh, our first mech here. All right, we finally get a chance to shoot at somebody here. Now, we could go 39. Much better on this guy. And let's drop the rockets on this guy. Get a bunch of damage. Maybe we blow this arm off. We'll see. No. Handful. No short -range missiles remaining. You got tons. I don't know what you're worried about. Alright, that's... Hmm. Yeah, man, I love the extra firing arc on this. It works so well. It's like just stepping over the vehicles. Jumping over them. Like, look at this, plus 30% arc. It's so beautiful. All right, fire on this, Irby. I think he's the dangerous guy right now. You know, I'm, I'm almost afraid to make, un until we get... Um, you know, a couple of full lances going. I'm almost afraid to make a melee mech. The amount of artillery that we got our guys, like our friendly shooting, you know, it's going to be splash damaging our, damaging our melee mech all the time. So we need to be careful with that. Don't go out, don't go out. Okay, beautiful. Knock that Irby down, though. He's got an ultralight gyro. Not the extra light, but the ultra light, the one that only gives you 30 stability. So there's a good chance we can knock his ass down if we get enough hits on him. I'm interested in grabbing that gyro too if I can, but I don't know. I think stuff like, unless we have better weaponry. Ooh, ooh you little tricky bugger you. You're trying to get behind me. Um, I think without having um, the proper weapons to put into our max getting anything that's going to save weight at this point is not the way to go so we have to dial down our damage here looks like we have to well we'll fire all three that's good beautiful well knocked down anyway if we get a mech part, hopefully we can assemble a uh, an urban mech, and maybe that one with the NSS and everything in it. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Talk to me. All right, Tex. Uh, mm. Hopper. I'm moving to a position I know where I need to be in. Now, if I go after this guy, we'll probably blow him up. So, let's just target this guy. That's a fair number of hits at that low percentage. That's awesome.
think that was the torso, yeah. Pilot down to one. Having the limited number of SRM2s is kind of... It's not bad because it lets you target a mech like, like the urban mech and hopefully just plink his head enough to knock him out, which we're going to try and do. No! Okay, B. Uh, you've got a line on this guy, right? You sure do. So we're going to engage him. Oh! Legs down to 31. Do we have enough to... Well, we don't really. Let's see if we can plink his head. Target locked. Nope, not quite. Target's taking a critical hit. Sure, sure making him drop a load in his pants, that's for sure. Alright, uh, you need to engage the Jenner. Back up here. Oh man, the 30% arc is so beautiful. It allows for positioning you never would normally do. Ooh! You were barely damaged, buddy! Okay, get right to here. Got a beautiful chance here to drop some heat. Gonna target this guy. Now, this is 31. We do 32 damage. Let's hope we get it. Here it comes. Do we get it? Right leg destroyed. Beautiful. Nicely done. All right, here we go. Sending in reinforcements, eh? Oh, back here. Yeah, I may change that. The enemy drops randomly too, right? So that's not going to give us any challenge here now. So I think I'll, between this episode and next episode, I'll go back to the regular sized maps. I don't think that'll break my saves. If it does, then I'll just switch back to this setup. It's just map size and drop location. Yes, Commander. All right. Uh, let's get back over here. All right, we're just going to walk it and get our limited stability back and drop some missiles if we can see these guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh, direct line of sight, too. Aye, aye. Man, that's got to be scary, facing an archer like that. When you're piloting a flea. Uh, okay, let's bring you back. Still at a range, but that's fine. No target. Arachne will just stay there for a turn until everyone gets out. Yes, Commander. Let's get up here for now. Weapons carrier. Okay, let's try and end this quick now. We could just take off too, because we'll get all the urban mech stuff. But, you know me. Ooh, that carrier's in trouble. It's a hunter, a flea. I think that's the same, perhaps the same lance as we had. Yeah, you better run. Same reinforcement lance as we had in the last mission. Ooh. That weapons carrier has become a lot more dangerous with those high explosive. Beautiful. See you guys. Yeah, with the high, high explosive thunderbolt ammo, this has become far more dangerous. Before they either hit or they didn't. Now it's like as long as they get close enough. Get a little splash damage in. Don't be shy. Here we go. go into full throttle. Full throttle. Alright, we'll take the chance. Copy that. 
All right, a couple points damage. I've got your back. Do you? Freaking hope so. Roger. Let's move over so we hope they don't shoot our own guy here in the back. See if we can take this guy out. Yeah, he's taking it, but I don't know if he's going to treat it as a lesson. You can't learn much when you're dead. Alright, we're just going to shoot through our own guys here. Because that's how we do. Uh, let's just go with the two large for now. Until we get a little closer, and we'll throw all three on. Oh, come on! I know you were hitting those low percentages chance in the last couple episodes, man. Ooh, see ya. Uh, can you, how far can you sprint? That's not bad. Copy that. Crest this hill the next turn. Hopefully we can fire the lerms. Yeah, the mechs, the, it's, it's so weird playing with like so limited hard points, right? It's like, you want to add stuff to the mech. It's like, oh, I can't because I, <laughs> I can lower the amount of, like, you know, the lower the tonnage um, with specific components like, you know, endo steel and stuff. But then what do I put on? There's nothing to put on. I don't have, I, I mean, if we could get some AMSs and stuff, sure. But, I, I, I you know, I've got a handful of, uh, all I got left weapon slot wise is a handful of support points. So, what do you do? Oh, this guy's in trouble. Oh, that must be the, that, is that the urban mech with all the missiles? What is that? Or is that the hunter? What is this? Hunt? Is that two hunters? Holy shit, someone's got a big AC. Someone's got a big AC. Urban mech R60. Is it the R60 that's got the AC20? Or the AC10? I can't remember. Weapons carrier, right, the Lerm carrier. Okay, we gotta target the Lerm carrier next. Move in like this, I think. That's pretty good chances, taking it. Alright, a little bit of damage. Can you get to the top of the hill? Well, you can get to a point where you can see direct fire, so that's kind of beautiful. Get up here. And then we'll go with the weapons carrier, please. Wow, really? That did not hit. Yeah, I saw that, man. I'm moving. Okay, what's my chance on the urban mech? I want to kind of draw his fire here. 21 on that, that guy, 16 on the urby. He's got an AC-10. All right, not so bad. So let's go after the weapons carrier. It's got a Lerm-20. We can probably kill it with this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's hammer time. Ready for orders. Want to kind of move up because uh, I don't want this guy targeting Queen B here. Let's go after the hunter though. Targeting for an alpha strike. Yeah. Yeah. I think the next mission we play will be one and a half skull. And then, well, it depends. I think the missions regenerate themselves at the end of every month. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems that way. Because new missions have, have shown up on the, on the uh, mission boards, so... Okay, he used to... Ah, see, he switched ammo. Didn't want him shooting that way, but... As long as he's missing, that's all that matters. 
he's probably got about 20 or you know 16 to 20 percent chance to hit her anyway yes, Commander. all right let's move over here get some mobility I know we're closing the gap but we should have four chevrons yeah we got four chevrons of evasion so we're pretty good here good chances to hit Wow only one Ready to get it on. are you let's not go where we'll be unstable urban mech please okay we got one hit I think you're just gonna sit up here there's no point in moving in at this point got a height advantage from back here 25 18, yeah, not bad. It's far in the Irby. Firing. It'll be nice to finally get some mechs with more hard points or a variety of hard points. Okay, Opper. I've got your back. Move up. How badly damages this hunter? Is it killable? It certainly is. Let's try and kill it. Uh, yeah, leave the lasers on. One of the lasers hit. Nice. Is that enough to kill? Nope, not quite enough. That was a critical hit, lad. Sure was. Beautiful. Yeah, he's using direct fire now. Maybe he's out of HE. Guys are fighting right to the end. The last version, they'd be running for the edge of the map board. It'd take you an extra 10 turns to chase them down. Ooh! Can't let you get any kills in this one. He's got to die now. Uh, let's not put ourselves in a position where we can get hit by our own guys. Maybe down, well. Where are we? Over there? I want a side shot. Minefield on the way, huh? Jump into minefield. Oh, so I guess our guy was using mines. Okay, well... If we move over here, we're fine. Okay. That's within range. I think we're okay here. We're far enough away from our line of sight from our other guys. Okay, a couple hits. Overheating builds really don't do too much on this kind of environment. Nice shooting. Got something you want done? Yeah, I need you to move because, well, that's okay. Um, because if you don't move and this guy gets a chance to shoot, he could clock you one. Alright, firing everything. Ooh, all three hit. Beautiful. It's going to soften them up for the missiles. You're out of the AC-10 range, I think. Ooh, low chance to hit. Thought we'd have a better chance than that. Hey, no kidding. Okay, I'm not going to move. I'm just going to target this guy straight up. Give us the best chance to hit. And we'll fire it all. No lasers. Alright, bunch of missile damage. Still going, though. Like it's tricky. I want to move up in level, but then you see the weak damage we're doing, and if we were fighting medium mechs, the battles would be going on forever. And I don't know. Like in that case, I, I mean, I guess with the amount of armor we have, we should still win. But until we get some better components, I almost want to stay at a lower level just to get the, some proper gear. Oh! That's some payback. That was a light carrier paying him back for that AC-10 hit. Yes! There it is, folks. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. I don't even think we took any damage, did we? I don't think we took any damage on that one. Increased contract payment increased by 75%. At least we're getting some nice payouts here. 
Um, what's the red one here? Is that secondary lance? What is... I don't understand why there's a red mech here. To look that up. Uh, who am I kidding? I'll probably never look it up. If someone knows, please drop it in the comment section down below. Now, I could get a full Jenner. This guy just bailed. Four laser, one missile hard point. Now, the urban mech, R60. You know what? Let's grab all three pieces, just so we have some options. ERPPC. Paravelar M20s, a bunch of medium lasers. Machine gun array. There's the SRM4s we were looking for. Tag. A light engine. Exchanger. This thing goes up in the um, top left slot. Which is kind of nice. I wonder if we take that. The light engine's nice too, though. But once again, we're at Well, we could add it to the urban mech. Okay, I'm going to put both of these here for now. We'll see what else we have now. I think we're still lacking basic sensors. We have ultralight gyro. Jump jets, basic sensors. We uh, That if we get in a roll, great. If not, I'm not worried about it. We already have standard engines in all of our mechs, so we're okay there. I'm wondering, let's drop out the R60 and then put in the SRM4s. Those are an immediate upgrade. We can use those for sure. The Fire Bee could definitely use them. The Dervish could definitely use them. And we'll go that route, I think. Yeah. Okay, Commando part, Flea part, one Jenner part. We got the R60 part. Nice. ERPPC, beautiful. A couple of cores. 175 core. At least we'll have something to put in the Urban Mech if it doesn't have a core. Internal combustion engine. Fire control system standard. Ultralight gyro, that's nice. A couple more jump jets. Ah, oh, we got our basic sensors. A couple standard fusion engines. And some ammo. Oh, dead fire ammo. Oh, imagine that in the uh, Archer. Not that we can actually get close enough to attack anybody. But the LRM chaff, too, we could put in an LRM 5. That's interesting. All right, let's continue. Okay, like no repairs. Beautiful. All right, now, uh, manage our tasks here. This will get us everything back in two days. Let's just do that real quick. And I'm going to spend the rest of this episode, just in case people are just here for the action, I'm going to spend the rest of, the rest of this episode taking a look at that urban mech and maybe putting that together. Um, I don't think we got enough time to... Uh, R25. I don't think we've got enough time to pull off another mission, but we do have time to put together a mech. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we got the R25, and this guy had what? Two laser, eight missile hard points. And this is the R81 ERPPC tag, Beagle Active. This is the guy we want, I think. Although the eight missile hard points are nice. This has got two laser points, but it has a whole bunch of other gear that if we, even if we don't use it, we can uh, at least sell it. Or it can go in some of our other mechs too, right? So let's go ahead and put this one, the R81, together. Let's go ahead and ready that. Um... Uh, and it's compatible with the R60 and the R25. So we're ready this. We'll use the R60 piece, since that's the garbage one, and then the R25 part. And we'll go ahead and put this together. Okay, let's have a look now. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's not totally trashed. Alright, bays. Gonna go for the refit. At least it's got standard gear, <laughs> rather than uh, the the uh, primitive gear. Oh, and it's wrecked. It's wrecked. We got the Beagle probe and some heat sinks, and that's it out of this. 360 degree torso twist. That's beautiful. The exchanger was lost, but we have that. So we got that as a, and we got the PPC too. So uh, we need a core. Now, what core did this thing have? Um, I don't see it here anywhere. Oh, the 60 core. All right, let's have a look here, what we have. We've got the light engine we can put back in there. The exchanger, which was up here. It had the ultralight gyro. 
had a 60 core, which made it really slow. And I don't know if we, we don't even have enough heat sinks for a 60 core. You do for a 100 core, though. Uh, let's... The armor is pretty good, actually, already. It's pretty max, although I think I want to add more to the torsos and less to the legs. It's very rare that we get legged. We mostly get torsoed. So we need one more heat sink for sure. And let's just, like, distribute these a little better here. Just in case we get critted. Spread them around a bit. And then, what are we at? 587,000? We got we got we got the C bills. We're okay. Standard cockpit and stuff. Um, by the way, I like the organization of this particular version better, where you can click on internals and equipment and stuff. It's nice. Uh, we've got these already. We could add jump jets now. Weapons. We've got a bit of um, got a bit of bit of ability here. We got an exchanger on here. So it had the NSS and the ECM before, which we don't have now. Could go with the PPC. We could even up the core. How much heat is this though? That's like ridiculous heat, like 45. We don't even, what's the heat efficiency now? 27. Wait, why are we only sinking 27? We've got the six heat sinks and the internal core, we should be sinking 60. Or 30, I mean, sorry. But it's saying 27. This is minus 3 heat per turn. Something's up here. Um, okay. Let's look at the cores then. That's a little better. I mean, we don't have the ability to put much on this thing. Uh, and that's it. Now, that was a 160 core. We got a 175. That weighs 4.25. No, it's way more. Even, like, for the just a tiny bit more. I mean, I guess we could pull one of the heat sinks out. And then a tiny bit of armor off the back. Because let's face it, this guy's not going to be closing with anybody anytime soon. Um, wow. I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone with the missile version. That's tricky. Uh, this adds to engine weight, but... Minus heat generation from weapons fire. <laughs> let's just see what this does. Can we add it? It can't be used with a thermal exchanger. Okay, let's pull the exchanger out. Yeah, we lost the XL engine too. Added a ton of weight. There's nothing we can do about that. So we can't really use that at all. Yeah, I thought I'd try. You never know, right? Uh, where are you here? Yeah. Well, it's the first mech we put together. Is it as good as the rest of our mechs? Eh. I'm interested to see how fast things this thing is going to go, though. What's our movement here? Uh, max sprint 218. That's actually not bad. Okay, let's confirm this. 22 days till it's up and running. We won't get to use it for a while, but... At least we've got it now. We, like I said, we don't have a lot of components, so um, kind of stuck with what I have. Now let's go ahead and pull. Let's give this guy some close-in punch. We're gonna leave the fire bee alone as it is. What's our heat right now? 3330 could pull off. These were just here for maneuverability, so. Um, Yeah, we'll just go this route. As you can see, the armor is almost completely maxed out. We haven't needed maxed armor. If we need to get more armor for whatever reason, we can just pull the jump jets. But for now, we'll drop the two SRM-4s in here. It is a little hotter. 
but we're still in the cold terrain and like I said we like we can't arm most of this stuff okay well that's fine that's an upgrade anyway all right there we go so there we are we got a couple mechs coming up and yeah well urban mech will be back next month so I'm gonna um, leave this episode here when we come back next time I'm gonna have a look at what the uh, missions are like maybe we take a one and a half skull maybe we try the ambush convoy if we fail we fail if we succeed we succeed but we'll just give it a shot just to see where we're sitting at all right so I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later